In contrast to valence bond theory, which assigns bonding orbitals to individual atoms, molecular orbital theory assigns the orbitals involved in bonding to the entire molecule. The simplest illustration of molecular orbital theory can be seen with the hydrogen molecule. According to molecular orbital theory, the 1s atomic orbitals of the two hydrogen atoms combine to give two molecular orbitals. Because atomic orbitals are wave functions, they can combine either constructively or destructively. Additive or constructive combination of the two atomic orbitals gives a bonding molecular orbital, while subtractive or destructive combination of the two atomic orbitals gives an antibonding molecular orbital. The bonding and antibonding molecular orbitals formed by the combination of two 1s orbitals are called sigma 1s and sigma star 1s respectively. The bonding molecular orbital, sigma 1s, is lower in energy than the original atomic orbitals. And the antibonding molecular orbital, sigma star 1s, is higher in energy than the original atomic orbitals. Like atomic orbitals, molecular orbitals can accommodate a maximum of two electrons each, with the electrons in the ground state occupying the lowest possible energy orbitals. The molecular orbitals in the hydrogen molecule can be represented with lines or boxes placed at the appropriate relative energy levels. The two electrons in the hydrogen molecule both occupy the bonding molecular orbital. Because most of the sigma 1s bonding molecular orbital is located between the two nuclei, electrons in this orbital draw the two nuclei together by electrostatic attraction. The sigma star 1s antibonding molecular orbital consists of two lobes. The majority of the space occupied by the two lobes does not lie between the two nuclei. In this molecular orbital, the region between the two lobes is known as a node. Electrons in this orbital would actually draw the two nuclei apart by electrostatic forces. Hydrogen has no electrons in this antibonding molecular orbital. We can use the relative numbers of electrons in bonding and antibonding orbitals to determine the bond order. Bond order indicates the strength of the bond and is equal to the number of electrons in bonding orbitals minus the number of electrons in antibonding orbitals divided by two. The hydrogen molecule has two electrons in its bonding molecular orbital and has no electrons in the antibonding molecular orbital. Therefore, its bond order is one. Imagine describing a diatomic helium molecule using molecular orbital theory. Diatomic helium would have a total of four electrons. The first two would occupy the sigma 1s bonding molecular orbital. The third and fourth electrons would occupy the sigma star 1s antibonding molecular orbital, which is the lowest energy molecular orbital available. Diatomic helium would have two electrons in a bonding orbital and two electrons in an antibonding orbital giving it a bond order of zero. Molecular orbital theory predicts that a molecule with bond order zero will not exist. This prediction is supported by the fact that there is no such thing as a diatomic helium molecule.